Hello, hello, hello. I told y'all I was going to hit y'all with all the videos tonight. All of them. How you doing? It's Therese. And this is my, I don't know, my, it may be, not be my last, we'll see. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys tonight about the election. And I really want to talk to my melanated sisters um, and my Latino sisters. Um, I really wanted to do this video, but I wanted to, I didn't take any notes. I typically don't take notes, <clears throat> but I wanted to do it. I don't know how to say it in a right way. Um, to all the women of color, indigenous, Latino, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for voting. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, right now, want to just send a prayer out to all of you who married, single, single mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, aunt, niece, who are dealing in this day and time with this type of stress, this type of racism, this type of um, self-doubt, maybe. I put this video together because I want to speak to you on how I speak to myself. Um, again, my name is Therese. Um, I want to call myself a life coach. I'm here to give my opinion and to uplift young ladies. This is, video is in no way to slight anybody that is not of color. It's just directed to women of color. And I'm going to just go off the cuff. <clears throat> We all know what we're dealing with, or was dealing with, because the election's over. <laughs> I need you guys to take a breath. I need you to pray, pray over your children. I need you guys to know you are the shit, and you guys know I don't curse, but you are the shit, you hear me? So much so that you, as a black, Latino, indigenous woman, Asian woman, whatever, are copied more times than, in, than any other cultures. Be it African-American music and clothes or Latino dance and music or Asian beauty. You're copied repeatedly. Okay? And so this makes that copying shows that someone is envious or jealous and wants what you're doing or wants to have it or make it their own or whatever. So always know, I know you guys hear this over and over again, that you're beautiful. I know y'all hear that. Well, we are. <laughs> but I want y'all really to understand it has nothing to do with the word beautiful. It, it, it has everything to do with your skin is like the sand. Um, your hair, ladies, as difficult as it is, can go in straight, curly, nappy, um, back to nappy, you know, nappy in a good way, back to straight, bald, growing like a tree, coil up, be tight, tighten up so much where you can braid it, then curl it, then straighten it again. Who? What other culture can do that? None. None. What other culture of women can give birth to a white person? Think about it. You ever seen an albino and how light they are? Other races can't give birth like we can to all shades. We can give birth to all shades all shades we have the biggest lips and you guys know I do not make my lips smaller and I come close so you guys can see I like my lips big <laughs> like a lot of things big but what I want you guys to understand I don't want to use that word beautiful anymore nah nah we, we surpass beautiful we, we, it's not even a beautiful thing or a gorgeous thing. 
because it comes from our sweat, our DNA, how we walk, how we look, how we think. We're like majestic. We're like royalty. It's like, and some people just don't like it. They can't take it. I, I seen a meme. It wasn't even a meme. It was on TikTok. And she said, we just don't like the way y'all carry yourself. Of course. And, and in adversity, we carry ourselves with our head up. We're the first in class, sitting in the front. Are we not? We're the ones they come to many times to get tutored. When they say write a paragraph, we write a page. <laughs> you know, we, we go over and beyond. We have to in this culture, but it's just in us to be excellent. So um, I'm, this is a love letter to you guys that I know you cried. I cried. I know you prayed, I've prayed. I know you pray over your children. I don't have kids. <clears throat> I know you prayed over your man, your father, your cousins. Um, I know you pray for every man in your, in your family. So all I'm saying to you is you did what you can do. Keep yourself covered. Sometimes I get olive oil and I'll, I'll pray over the olive oil and I'll put the olive oil on my head. We're blessed. We're just blessed. Um, it's not going to be easy. It's not. But don't waver. I said that in a couple other videos. Do that inner work. Read some books about who you are as a black woman, Asian woman, indigenous. Learn your culture. Okay? Learn when you're being disrespected. Learn when the tone is racist. You know, but don't let nobody stop you from getting your bag and getting your love life together and getting your house and cars. Girls out here now have two cars. A lot of girls in this neighborhood have two cars. <laughs> a weekend car and a weekday car. <laughs> These girls out here getting it. And they're they're of, of color. Two Latino girls that have two cars, um, two separate girls. And then there's an African American female, she has two cars. She comes out and checks them, sees what's in what. Because we, what we're not going to do is stop getting what we got to get and reaching higher and moving to better, better neighborhoods if you want or traveling the world or, you know, eating at fine restaurants or dating who you want. or you, We're not going to stop it, and we're not going to stop being majestic. We're just not. Don't let what you see... Monday through Sunday, on the news, and here, and people worry some, get in your spirit. It's going to take you down, and you're not going to want to leave the house. And we're already in <laughs> semi-lockdown, you know. So, this love letter is to you ladies to let you know, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your kids. I'm praying for your moms and your dads. Um, we came out. And I'm proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We still have more work to do. But we did a big... We came out. Like, it makes me shiver. Um, it's funny. I was in a laundromat. And we all had masks on. But we looked at each other. Like, we knew. You know? Just with our eyes. We got... We, we all we got. <laughs> we might get mad over a man or... You took my nail tech or whatever. <laughs> I just got my nail tech. The, the purple. <clears throat> you took my nail tech or whatever. But when it comes to our livelihood and our kids being um, raised in a world where there is no racism or there is no discrimination, I t even though I don't have kids, I take that very seriously. Because I'm a brown girl. I'm a gorgeous brown girl. I'm a brown girl. I can't say I've had a lot of experiences, but I've had experiences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Always handle it with class. But please don't think, if just because you're a brown girl and you dress nice, that you're not going to run across one of them. 
you know, they won't try you or whatever. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to um, get into that. But I had to make this love letter or love vlog <laughs> to you guys to say thank you so much. Um, don't stop. What I like, and this is the last little piece of thing I like, I like for us to compliment each other more. You never know what the sister, and I mean sister of color, is going through. You just don't know. You just don't know. There was a woman, she was voting. She had two kids, one on her arm, one on her hand. But she made sure she brought those two little boys, because they were both both boys, to the to the to um, to vote. She knew how important this was. She knew exactly how important this was. And I'm glad she brought them. But people were just like, because the baby was kind of running around and she had one in her arm. And we just got to be kinder to one another. Softer to one another. Um, we have to be. We're so hard on, on ourselves and on each other that it's not cool, you know. And, and me included, because I've been, you know, I've been in situations where we're all black women, but something happens, you know, and I hate that because it makes us look like we can't be united and we can <laughs> look at this. We can be united. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. I voted, but just thank you so much. I think Atlanta, though, or Georgia, we got one more state. We can't give up. We got to keep going. But. I'm shivering. Thank you guys, and I love you guys. Thank you again.